Hello and welcome my beautiful bulls, my beautiful Taurus. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 29th to June the 4th year of 23. We know that this is an, is automatically a general reading here. Some of it may resonate and some of it may not. Take what does and throw the rest out into the universe. Let's see what we have here. You have a five spread past, present, future, what's holding you back, and what you need to push yourself forward to receive the future you want or beginning, middle, end of the week. Take it whatever way you want, Taurus. Okay, coming in with your all-over download message from the automatic writing deck I have, you have tie up loose ends. So there could be some unfinished work here, something that you need to have closure with, something that maybe you've been putting on the back shelf and you've been procrastinating about or, uh, you know, not cleaning and finishing it up. Uh, this could be the time of year where you're actually saying, okay, I'm going to clean out the shed, the garage, I'm going to get rid of that pile of garbage, you know, in the, in the garage or the attic or whatever the case is, getting rid of things and tying up loose ends. So things are better for you. This could also have to do with um, unfinished work with a person. If things were left up in the air or things were taken out of context or you didn't get closure, it's time now to not leave issues with people unresolved. So you could be doing that as well. You could be stepping up and having this one-on-one -on -one conversation or with a group, whatever the case is, if there's more people involved, so that you can tie up loose ends. But maybe getting jobs done too, uh, finishing up and getting work done that you need to do this week. Coming in with your first energy card you've got the fox now this is a card of beware this is a card basically that says in this particular deck um, it says that you know this is a card of fraud lies untruth dishonesty and even self-deception or a negative attitude um, the fox can represent being smart cunning and sneaky okay there could be an addition to some self-deception or negative, having a negative attitude of energy around you. This can also be gossip in the workplace or in a private environment around you. Beware. Beware of what is told to you. It could be deliberate wrong information. The fox is like a mask that is worn. The real self remains unseen and someone like this is living a distorted life without finding happiness. Okay, so be careful. Be careful of someone around you who could be lurking in the shadows. They might want to ride on your coattails of success, whether it's they don't like seeing you happy or they want a piece of the pie. Okay, so be careful of that this week. Now, the next card you've got is the birds. And I always thought the birds had to do with gossip. Uh, in the other uh, Letterman, Letterman deck, it has to do with gossip and chatter. And I've always said, beware of the, you know, the, the idle gossip. But this can be communication um, because birds communicate all the time. They're the first things we hear at the crack of dawn in the summer is the birds talking to each other, right? So, um, you know, this is a conveyance of either receiving and hearing things or the conveyance of information that you're going to give out. Um, it's discussions and news and verbal or electronically transmitted ideas coming in, maybe across your iPhone or your iPad or your computer. Um, pay attention, okay, to all of these messages. Even if you think they're not important, I would be paying attention. But remember, not everything you read online is completely true either. So before reacting to any news, consider the source where it came from, okay? Because it could maybe just be sheer gossip, inflated hype, right? Misleading uh, information, inaccurate third-handed mis misinformation too. But on the positive side, the birds card may indicate the sharing of valuable advice and wise counsel. Notice that the mother bird in this card may be offering something, life lessons to the young fledging here. She's, she's coming out and she's speaking to the baby, right? Uh, if you can see this card, that's what it's showing here. Um, it delivers a message to keep your eyes open to signs and symbols that may appear around you, okay? So whatever you're hearing, and it could be gossip too, but whatever you're hearing, pay attention to it. If someone has told you about this sly fox and you go, no, they wouldn't do that. That can't be them. Pay attention, okay? Now, the woman comes in. You may be having dealings or a relationship with a woman. Now, they portray the woman here with dark hair. There could be a woman around you with dark hair. Uh, this woman looks Asian, but maybe not. A beautiful woman, as she is. But there could be someone around you, a woman that you might find around you. I get the feeling that this woman might not be all she portrays to be. 
okay because you've got the fox and you've got the birds here um i you know for some reason i would just be aware of this woman around you this week there could be somebody you work with in the office or your workplace or someone around you that you might have been introduced to along the way she might not be as honest as she portrays she is okay but this could be anything i mean you could be dealing with or having a relationship with a woman uh this week someone who you're going to be spending a lot of time with okay now coming in you in your first row you've got the card of the eight of wands and you have the eight two eights eights are cards of of um it's a master card okay it's a master number and it could have to do with money you could be moving money around or concentrating on finances now the the, the this could be you the energy around you could be shifting because it this eight of wands says you know get ready ready something fast is going to come in it's, it's fast progress it's speedy it's movement it's rushing it's exciting times you could be traveling too uh you may have had to some information might have come in and said oh you got to pack your bags now let's go on a let's go on a trip okay um i remember one time coming home from work and my husband says pack your suitcase for five days we're going somewhere he wouldn't tell me where i didn't know what to wear is it formal informal whatever and it was beautiful i had a little convertible volkswagen bug that he had bought me and it wasn't new but it was a beautiful little car to me and we i packed the bags i just needed to know and we took a lovely uh, a lovely trip around the lake area here where we live and we just randomly stopped at B&B's and little restaurants and little theaters and it was wonderful so you might be getting something could come in quick like that for you or somebody says we got to travel or we're going on a trip or this is a business trip that's been that we have to go on whatever okay so but it can be a holiday it can be anything it can be romantic it can be anything you're taking off in a hurry perhaps but this is also momentum picking up if things have been slow and you've been wondering you know things aren't moving along it's so humdrum you know you feel as though you're stuck in a position it's all of a sudden going to shift this energy is going to pick up i would get ready to hit the ground running if i were you now um this could have to do with you know work it could have to do with anything but it's fast progress and it comes in with the eight of pentacles now the eight of pentacles is working on something you could be learning as you go uh you could be taking a new form of study you could be learning an apprenticeship uh you could be a tradesperson. this person is hammering away at something and this is his income this is what he's working on he's hammering away at all these beautiful coins and you know dreaming of his future uh, but you could be working on something and as long as you stay on course here you will see yourself succeed so the eight of pentacles is working hard for your goals and stepping up and seeing success come in something's going to come in quickly though um, maybe you're going to get a job all of a sudden okay coming in next you have the two of cups and you have the beautiful nine of pentacles now the two of cups if you've been wanting love in your life uh it chances are the energy is going to come flowing your way and cupid's going to be coming your way because this is a card of unity and love and compatibility and happy couples partnerships right soulmates being in a relationship that's harmonious and balanced and happy so this could be something here you could be some of you might be hearing or actually receiving a proposal an engagement uh the offer to get married or you're planning a wedding of some sort but this is a beautiful card so if you've been looking for love chances are it's going to knock on your door okay nine of pentacles comes in with that though so we had the eight now we have the nine so working hard for your goals and now seeing fruition come in this is success success often in self-employment so if you have your own business you're going to see things escalate and improve and you're going to see gain and profit and growth um this is about keeping your eyes open though for new and un and different opportunities of doors swinging open for you she walks with the falcon you've heard me say this a million times with the hood on and and that means keep your eyes open don't don't um don't have your mind closed to just one idea or one one particular thing you've got the opportunity to walk in this garden and pick from all the beautiful beautiful fruit trees that are in it so keep your options open to anything happening <clears throat> now coming in in the center position you've got the page of pentacles and you've got the empress so the page of pentacles is good news about money pages are always those little messengers new beginnings of the, the the first new steps towards something this could be the first new steps towards a brand new job so <clears throat> 
you're going to hear good news uh, that is on a solid foundation here in the material part of your life uh, with earthly matters and new beginnings. You've set your goals now and you've got the opportunities of doors swinging open. This could be the opportunity to be making more income, an increase in your income. I think negotiations are going to go well. I think you've done your work and now you can, you can go forward and do what you want. Stay open-minded. Be willing to learn as you move through. Remember I said you could be apprenticing here. You could be learning uh, something, a skill on the spot uh, working hands-on and learning now the empress comes in and says keep nurturing this okay because again i said she's a mother figure what she nurtures she sees grow and comes to fruition this is a card of fertility um there could be yes this is a fertile time for you and i see it in business now for some of you you could be hearing about the birth and the announcement of a new child coming into the family now coming in next you have the three of wands <clears throat> and you have the two of pentacles so the three of wands again is the card of travel you could be you could be all of a sudden packing your bags and traveling somewhere you could be moving abroad you could be going anywhere to some foreign land but you could be waiting for your ship to come in as well you may have been working on something on an international level and maybe your clients or a deal was coming in that had to do with a different area of the world and the people therein and you're waiting for that to come in okay but you're moving forward and now you're going to have the self-confidence to do it because you need to pat your back on back for what you've completed to this point okay so keep believing in yourself this is a card of success and 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 the happy choices and outcomes that are coming in here because your hard work is starting to pay off <clears throat> the two of pentacles yeah the two of pentacles says guess what um <clears throat> this is a card of balance make sure you don't take on more than you can handle don't bite off more than you can chew okay um keep yourself organized keep yourself writing out these to-do lists so that you can check them off and know that things are getting completed properly and you're not <clears throat> leaving anything unfinished here remember tie up loose ends we don't want to leave anything unfinished also there could be two opportunities two choices two decisions uh two doors opening up to you that you're going to have to make a decision and a choice of choosing but i wouldn't worry about it i think you you're, you've done everything that you need to do and you'll make the right one you'll make the right choice coming in next your final cards you've got the you've got the card of burden which is the ten of pentacles and you've got the seven of cups so the ten of pentacles says you pushed yourself hard you might have overburdened yourself overloaded yourself you felt stressed out and the problems you had were weighing you down you felt you had the the burdens of the world on your shoulders here but be careful <clears throat> because you almost this card says uh, this is moving into the future if you do this you could end up with burnout so this is a card again I say to you uh, prioritize uh, you know is this worth your effort uh, you know as they say is the juice worth the squeeze <clears throat> so be careful okay because you don't want to over you know feel saddled down and overburden yourself but again because this is the number 10 of swords this is going to end and i think you're going to learn from this decision that you're going to be making that you're not going to take on this much work next time you're not going to be in a one-sided relationship putting all your effort and blood sweat and tears into something you've realized now and learned through that okay now you've had a lot of decisions and choices that could be coming in or you may have already made them uh this is the seven of cups it says you could be overwhelmed you could be confused you could be um you know not just you can't make up your mind it's eeny meeny miny mo which one of these cups should i pick everyone has something to offer you but some of them are good and some of them are hidden and some of them are betrayal and some of them are you know uh, everything that glitters isn't always gold so i want you to sit down and seriously this week if you have a lot of choices and decisions to make weigh them weigh them weigh them so that you can come out ahead of the game what's going to last you the you know through through the test of time what's going to give you longevity what's going to bring you to your greater good what's going to make you happy those are the choices that you need to make don't jump in too quickly okay until you know what you're getting in for well my beautiful taurus my beautiful bulls this is your reading for this week and again i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week to look forward to and again always know i send you lots of love and many blessings and i'll see you soon my beautiful bulls